Hello dear students, I welcome all of you to this video on pointers in C. In this video also, we are going to revise our fundamentals on the concept of call by address or passing address to a function. But using a programming example, we will see more about call by address. <music> The question asked is, we want to write a function to swap value of two variables. Now, in main here, if you check main, I have two variables x and y, x being 10 and y being 20. But I want to swap the values or interchange the values such that x should become 20 and y should become 10. Now, although we can do this in main program itself, in main function, we can use a temporary variable t and get x and y exchanged by writing t equal to x, x equal to y, y equal to t. I know that's child's game for you to exchange value of two variables. But we want to do the same swapping problem using a function. So we have written a function called swap and we are calling the function. But look initially or the first version that I have written purposely is the wrong version. This is not the way that you can get the two variables swapped. So my appeal to all of you is you first go through this wrong version. Coming back to the call here, we are calling swap by passing value of x. You observe we are passing x and y. This is value of y. So 10, literally value of x, 10 gets passed in this parameter p1. Now p1 is a copy parameter and value of y, observe value of y that is 20 gets copied in p2 which is a copy parameter now any changes made in p1 and p2 will not affect the actual parameter x and y you know these basics or fundamentals very well as you have come long long way by watching so many examples what we have done in the function is using a third variable t as usual just as we swap two values we have swapped p1 and p2 so indeed p1 will become 20 and p2 will become 10. Indeed p2 and p1 or p1 and p2 will get swapped. But any changes made to p1 and p2 will not reflect back in x and y. So before swapping, we will have x equal to 10 and y equal to 20. And after swapping also we will have x equal to 10 and y equal to 20. As you see, confirm from the output, we do not have x and y swapped. So that's what is the problem with call by value. Well, you cannot pass value of x and value of y to the function because function should be able to change x and function should be able to change y. So we will have to pass address and hence we will have to copy the address in the form of a pointer parameter. So the correct version, correct version of this code comes over here. What's that? Let's see. In main, we are again having two variables x and y whose value is 10 and 20. Okay, let's take opportunity to draw memory diagram over here. x, let's say, let's say x is stored in a 2 byte variable and its value is 10. Let's say that the value of x is stored at address 100 and 101. Another variable y is again a 2 byte variable storing value 20 and address is 200, 201. Now, we have printed before swapping x is 10 and y is 20. Confirm the output before you call swap. So now when we call swap, we are passing address of x. Now address of x will go in pointer p1 and address of y will go in pointer p2. Now any changes made to the pointer p1 will affect x and any changes made to pointer p2 will affect y. So showing in the diagram here, P1 is a new pointer. P1 is created because the function gets called and P1 stores 100, address of x. Note address of x, base address of x is stored by P1. So P1 points to x. Now onwards, asterisk P1 is same as x. Then there is another pointer P2 which stores address of y. Address of y is 200. So P2 points to y. Now onwards, asterisk p2 is same as y. Now you check the body of the function. 
we have had we have declared a temporary variable t temporary variable t and we have made t equal to asterisk p1 now how do you read this line t is equal to asterisk p1 asterisk p1 is same as x because p1 points to x or p1 stores address of x so the lines become as follows t equal to x now the next line asterisk p1 equal to asterisk p2 will mean x equal to y and the third line asterisk p2 equal to t means y equal to x and you know exactly this is the code needed to swap x and y this is what you might have written or you would have written in main if you wanted to do the work straight away in main by the way what's happening then is t will become equal to x and you know original value of x is 10 next line makes x equal to y but y is 20 next line makes y equal to y equal to t this was t i am so sorry i am so sorry this was t check this this was t here so y equal to t so y will become t means but t is 10 you observe so x has become 20 and y has become 10 these are the changes made in the actual parameter which are present in main and then the function will end now when the function ends and when we get back to main we are printing after swapping x is obviously now the output will be 20 and y equal to 10 so confirm it from the output so if you want to swap value of two variables then you must pass that variables by address and not by value thank you very much